Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a very famous and tasty Mangalorean cuisine that is Tauti Koddil recipe. Tauti is also called as golden cucumber and Koddil means sambar or thick curry. So let's get started. This is how I've cut the golden cucumber. Few of the other ingredients required are 2 teaspoon of coriander seeds, 1 teaspoon jeera seeds, 4 garlic cloves, 1 4 teaspoon of methi seeds, 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds, 1 small onion, 8 dry long chilies, half teaspoon of haldi powder, 1 teaspoon of urad dal and some grated coconut. If you don't get grated coconut, uh, you can also use coconut milk. So I'll not be using full of this, I'll be using only half of this. So at first, let's cook the golden cucumber for which you need 1 onion, uh, around uh, 3 tablespoon of uh, tamarind water, 2 tablespoon of jaggery and 3-4 uh, three, three, teaspoon of salt. So I'll be adding around uh, one and a half cup of water and adding all the other ingredients required for cooking golden cucumber. That is onion, jaggery, salt and tamarind water. Cucumber juice is often recommended as a source of silica to improve the complexion and health of the skin. Plus, cucumber's high water content makes it naturally hydrating, a must for glowing skin. I've added in all the ingredients, so I'll be cooking it on a medium flame for 15 minutes with a closed lid. This vegetable is very pale in taste, so it's very important to balance all the flavors in order to make this kodil very tasty and yummy. Golden cucumber is pale in taste, so in order to make it more flavorful, a fusion of sweetness, sourness and spiciness is added in in a proper quantity to make this vegetable so yummy and tasty. Meanwhile, let's roast the masalas and uh, so that we can grind it and keep it aside. So I've taken a vessel here, adding some coconut oil, around uh, 2 tablespoons. Once it gets heated up, add the mustard seeds and once it gets popped up, add the jeera seeds coriander seeds, urad dal, roast it well for a minute, ensure your flame is on a very low heat so that the seeds won't get roasted or uh, burnt. After a minute, I'll be adding the chilies. If you have Biadige chilies, which is a very famous chilli of uh, Karnataka, you can add that. If you don't have, you can use the normal red chilies. Add the chopped onions and the garlic. Now let this all get uh, fried well for uh, around uh, 1 to 2 minutes. Ensure the flame is on a very low heat because this masala should not get burnt. If it gets burned, the taste of this masala might change. So to a mixer, I'll be adding grated coconut. If you don't have grated coconut, you can use coconut milk. Around 1 cup of coconut milk. Adding a 1 teaspoon of haldi powder. Then you can add in all the roasted masalas. Now let this get blended to a fine paste and uh, once it gets blended, keep it aside. You can add around one and a half cup of water. Perfect. Now I'll blend it and keep it aside. Now after 15 minutes, the golden cucumbers have been perfectly cooked. So once it's cooked, you can add in the blended masala. Now after adding the blended masala, it need not cook for a longer time since the masalas have already been roasted and the vegetable is also uh, well cooked. So you keep it uh, for around 2 minutes on a medium flame and then you can add the tadka and then it's all ready to be served. Check for the salt. If you find it less, you can add uh, salt as required. I found it a bit less, so I have added 1 teaspoon of salt. 
mixing it well. Perfect. So now the koddal is ready. Let's prepare a very good tadka for this koddal in order to enrich its taste more. So let's uh, start with the tadka. For the tadka you would need 2 tablespoon of coconut oil. You can add the normal cooking oil as well, but since this is a Mangalorean delicacy, using coconut oil would give the exact taste for this koddal. So to a hot oil I would be adding mustard seeds. 3 garlic cloves roughly crushed some curry leaves and two dry long red chilies i'll be slitting it and adding it let it get roasted well for 3 uh, to 4 minutes after 3 minutes i'll turn off the flame and add the tadka to the koddil giving it a good mix and then it's all ready to be served you can have this kudil with rice or also with chapati but i would suggest you all to have this with rice it would taste super yum do try this recipe and let me know your review on it if you have not yet subscribed please do subscribe like and share my recipes thank you so much take care bye bye